What is up fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Cancer Zodiac sign. So I did a, I do believe I did, how do they feel or how both of you feel about each other reading. So we're going to do a singles reading, okay? This is going to be for my single Cancers. We're going to do yours first and then I think I'm going to do two videos. Uh, we're going to do single and we'll do relationships. So this one here is for my single uh, cancer. So we're going to see what's coming towards you and as far as love, okay, what's going on with you as far as love. <clears throat> okay, so tell me about my cancer singles, okay, what's coming towards cancers, my single cancers, as far as love, relationships, feelings, and emotions, what's coming towards cancer as far as love, relationship, feelings, and emotions. Okay, what's coming for cancer as far as love, relationship, feelings, and emotions for my singles? Okay, so guys, just remember this is a general reading, so this may not resonate. Energies are fluid and interchangeable, so they can cross if you need to. Please flip them. I'm going to turn it this way so you can see it. So right now, nothing can come towards you. You can't even make any type of forward movement right now, Cancer, because my single Cancers, because you still are, I'm sorry, guys, I'm trying to move this strap out of the way. You are still kind of stuck right now on, I, I feel like it's a past person because we have the Eight of Swords, which is mental blockage, mental confusion, okay, um, cloudy judgment, clouding judgment. Um, the Chariot is in reverse, okay. We also have the Ten of Wands. And the two of wands energy so you have an opportunity to move forward but right now you just can't you can't seem to understand why it's it, it's like whoever this was messed your head up okay and it caused a lot of mental conflict a lot of denial a lot of confusion a lot of um you may be even questioning yourself if you were a good person in the relationship or if um, um if you'll ever be able to love again is what i'm getting for you because the chariot is in reverse, which means there's there's a stallment here, okay? It's like being broke down on the side of the road, right? Uh, with this chariot in reverse. So there's no forward movement here. And you're needing to overcome this situation here, whatever it was, whether it was a breakup or a letting go or a release of an ex or something like that. You're needing to let go of that so that you can move forward so that this will no longer overwhelm you, okay? No longer be your burden. You have to let this burden go. So that you can move forward to new opportunities here because we have the two of wands, all right? And the two of wands is a choice card, okay? Making a decision, choosing a different path, choosing a different route, you know, instead of going back down the path of, well, if I tried to make it work with them or um, <clears throat> I'm just going to sit here and not move because I'm sad and I don't want to, um, sorry guys, my leg is itching. I, I don't want to... I don't want to make any moves because this person may come back. Okay, let's see. What's the clarify the feelings and emotions of cancer, single cancers? What are they dealing with? What is my single cancers dealing with here? What is my single cancers dealing with here? Single cancers. I like you. So there's someone that likes you and that's attracted to you. What's my single cancers dealing with here? Yeah, there's there's a new person that's wanting come wanting to come in. We have I like you, okay? So someone's interested in you. They like what they see. They find you very interesting. They find you very attractive. They see you as someone that um, they could uh, start up a relationship with, a conversation with. But you're not even um, giving this an opportunity right now because again, you're kind of at a stalemate energy or like at a stop position right now you're not even moving forward here we also have the coffin card the coffin is about endings bringing new beginnings okay laying to rest so lie your burdens down and let them go you know um i don't know if this person might have um this past person might have made you feel as though you weren't enough or made you feel as though yeah you you still got some healing to do the temperance i don't know if this person made you feel like you weren't um, enough for them or you weren't um, or they put you through a lot of ish like they could have been out creeping and sleeping and doing that type of stuff. So it caused a lot of uh, turmoil, a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, a lot of sadness and depression. Um, so whatever it was, they really did a number on you is what I'm getting. But um, we have the not enough card coming out. See. Um, in the relationship that you were in with this person that you're kind of like uh, stuck on or you're kind of that has you in this fog, um, 
it wasn't enough for you anyways. You weren't getting what you deserved anyway. But I do see someone new coming towards you here, Cancer. You just have to be open to this opportunity and possibility here. So let's pull this other deck. Okay. What's in store? <clears throat> What's in store for Cancer once they get past this? What is the... What's in store for cancer once they get past this? What's in store for cancer? Single cancers once they get past this. So pull it. What's in store for cancer once they get past this? Look at there. Once you get past this, my goodness, page of wands. Nothing but good, good news coming in. But you have to get past this. You have to be willing to walk through a different door and not be repeating a cycle again, okay? Not going back down the same road of I'm sad, I'm upset. Because this person could actually be coming back for uh, another opportunity. They could be coming back with an apology. I don't feel like they really mean it. But this could also be a new opportunity. Someone fresh, someone new, someone very attractive, very young. Okay, They don't have to be young on the outside, but like young spirited, you know, young mentally. A very young, very attractive, you know, body looking right. Someone uh, coming in wanting to offer love. It's a very new stage. It's a very new beginning. Okay, I see a lot of happiness for you. The sun card. And the Ace of Swords, you just have to make your mind up and decide that this is something that you want. See, I see you overcoming all of this. You just have to be willing to open up that door or allow an opportunity in here. Okay, because I do feel as though, I don't know, let's see, let's clarify this here. Clarify the Two of Wands. What are the two options? Clarify the Two of Wands. Yeah, see, you're still kind of, uh-huh, Seven of Cups. So you have options and opportunities and many people that are looking at you. Again, you're very attractive. But you're still kind of looking at this heartbreak, okay, with this Three of Swords energy. You're still kind of dwelling on it and letting it uh, play and fester, you know what I'm saying? And it's kind of taking control of everything, and it's not allowing you to go to this new path where you can... Um, open up to these new opportunities and possibilities which is someone new coming in this could be two people because we have page of wands at the bottom and page of cups seven of cups is here it already tells me that you have a lot of options coming towards you you just have to be willing to open up to them cancer so completely up to you what other message do you have for cancer to end this off any other messages that you have for cancer to end this reading off for my single cancers what is it that you want them to know? Any advice for my single cancers? Any advice for single cancers? Twin flames. Okay. The twin flames card is here. Your passion ignites. All right. So you could be closing the door on a twin flame because you're not willing to open up to it yet. And then this card here. Look. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. So yes, you are closing the door on an opportunity for a twin flame because you're still focused on this hurt and this pain here with this other person here. So this is what's on the other side. This is all this happiness, the sun energy, okay? This is all this happiness. This is twin flame energy, this twin flame opportunity. But you're not going to get this if you still dwell on the heartbreak. So you got to let that go, okay? Focus on yourself, heal yourself, balance yourself, reground yourself, and possibilities are endless for you, okay? You're going to have an opportunity of a lifetime. A lot of people don't even get to meet their twin flame. So you're going to have an opportunity of a lifetime to meet some someone that's going to be perfectly matched for you, okay? So yeah, this is your reading. I hope that this gives you some clarity and some insight. I appreciate you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye guys.